Yeah, so yesterday I seen a video by uh, Sean Spalding. Yeah, he's doing that with uh, Game Maker Studio 2. It displays text and at the end it fades. Yeah, so we're gonna do the fade to black using simple drag and drop. Alright guys, if you like making your own games, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. For this video we're gonna aim for 40 likes. So smack the like button and let's continue. I'm gonna go um, file new. So you can select from uh, Game Maker language or drag and drop. We're gonna select uh, drag and drop. Call this um, Le Fade, shape it. Let's make a new sprite, edit image. And uh, I'm simply gonna make this black. This is gonna be our fade. Let's make a new object, add the sprite. I'm gonna go to the room and um, yeah, let's uh, set this uh, to 640 by 480. Change the background color. Let's make it purple. Zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna make another sprite. Let's edit image. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a bird, not Twitter. See two frames, he's flying. Let me rename this to a uh, fade. Make another object. I'm gonna call this a bird. Let's add the sprite. Let's add a new event. It's going to be a uh, step event. I'm going to select a uh, jump to point. I'm going to set this uh, to 1. I'm going to set the Y to 0. Relative to itself. Let's drag the bird into the screen. And there is our bird. He's flying. Let me add some more birds. Just because we can. There we go. Let's make a new layer for the fade. Let's drag our fade to the screen. Here it is. Double click on it. Let's add a new event, create, we're going to create a uh, variable, we call this a uh, HH, uh, for the value I'm going to set this uh, to 0, let's add a new uh, step event, let's select a uh, set instance uh, alpha, set of a number we're going to set this uh, to our variable, which is a uh, HH, okay let's run this, and you can see that we can't see our box, let's go to the variable and let's set this to 1, let's run this, and you can see that our fade is now visible. Go back to a step event. I'm going to drag out a assign variable. And uh, the variable is going to be HH. Now for the value, we're going to make this uh, HH uh, plus 0.1. Back to create. Yeah, let's set our variable to zero. Let's run this. And whoa, okay. <laughs> It did work, it was kind of fast. I don't know if you've seen it. Let's try um, 0, 0, 0.01. You can see the object fading in. Cleaves it. Let's add a new event. A new uh, step begin. Now step begin only runs once during the game. So let's see. Let's set our instance uh, scale to 640 by 480. Which is the width of the screen. If I scale this down. When you um, start this, it's going to cover the entire screen. Okay, <laughs> so we're getting somewhere. Okay, so let's return to create. Let's add a new variable. So we want the fade to show up when we press enter. Okay, so to do that, we're going to assign a new variable. Let's call this uh, super fade. And uh, um, I'm going to leave this at uh, zero. Uh, let's add a new event. If the user presses, uh, let's say, enter. Then we can change this variable. Let's see, it's gonna be super speed. Oh, super fade. And uh, we're going to assign this uh, to one if the user presses enter. Now this here is only going to work if the variable is set to one. Okay, so let's drag in if statement. Let's set the alpha inside the if statement and our assign variable. So if super fade is equals one, then we're going to show our fade. Okay, so let's press enter. That works fine, except for the screen is already black. Okay, let's see. Let's go to step begin, and uh, maybe we can delete this here. And uh, this is going to happen inside our if statement. Okay, so let's set this up to 640 by 480. I'm also going to use a jump to point to change the position of the uh, sprite. And I'm going to set the uh, X and Y to zero. I'm going to set this uh, relative to itself. Let's move the sprite out of the way. Okay, so let's run this. Press enter. And there is our fade. Whoa, so easy. Let me do that again. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe. Bye now.